Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about my most awaited review in a long while because I got them already months ago but this is the only time I'm able to review them finally and show them to you because uh, we were moving, it was really hectic I think for two months and I, we needed to settle in and yeah this is the first time I'm able to review a lipstick product again in a very long while so i hope you will find this helpful and i know some people requested a, a certain color from this but i will most probably um review a separate uh video about it just for the pillow talk um, lipstick product so i hope you will watch out for it so today i'm going to talk about the charlotte tilbury uh, lipstick product so i have for a moment i think three three mattes and one um, satin I think I need to look the stone rose is it doesn't say actually I have no idea what is it <laughs> so yeah let's go to okay I will just first show you the packaging so it will come like this it's really I really love the overall look of this brand you'll see the color here and just like that and the bullet if you open it i haven't even worn most of this this is how the bullet looks like it's really a pretty rose gold detail just the name here and some information and her initial and then it's not magnetic i just said so this is how the bullet looks like it's really a different shape as you see like the normal kind of bullets really like a cute detail and yeah it's just really it's not that heavy it's okay and there's like um her name there engraved and it's not really like it's like plastic i think i thought it would be like metal but yeah this is how her packaging looks like and it just you need to push it like that it could have been great because of the price if it's magnetic it just adds lux and yeah a very nice detail especially if it's a high-end brand so they retail normally around 28 euro depends where you order it some 30 plus but i think in where i got it i'm not even sure i got them <laughs> i think in phil unique the other ones and then the other ones were i think also phil in their own website when they had like promotions so i first got the pillow talk lipstick i love it so much that i didn't expect i would love it because a lot of people were saying that quality is not that great with um charlotte tilbury but i love it so much so i ordered more colors so yeah let's go to the swatch so the first shade is very victoria i wanted uh like a nude lipstick version of from charlotte tilbury and think I thought this would be too light on me and I love how it looks actually it's not like too like almost like concealer looking um, shade it's a bit it's it still complements my skin tone and yeah I love how it looks I think it would look better if I will um, use also a bit darker kind of lip liner underneath but um, alone I think this would look great when you have really smoky eyes um, to pair it with a really heavy looking eyes it would look great so if you have my skin tone I think even a bit darker than me it would still look fine it will not look too like you're sick or something like that so I really love like the formula is really like thin but it has good coverage it just feels so yeah it's almost it's matte but it's also hydrating at the same time it's almost like I feel like there's a cushiony a bit of effect it's really 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 a pleasant on the lips so i really highly recommend their formula and the the scent uh, there's a scent but really like almost like chocolate vanilla scent really i i like the scent it's not too i don't even smell it while applying which is good you really need to smell it up close but yeah that's very victoria so the next one is the very popular and i think most i think some i think i saw that on the website like it's been sold um once every three seconds or something like that so this is pillow talk i'm so sad it's so dark i hope you see it good on my lips but yeah this is really um like a pinkish brown kind of shade it's really like um 
I really love the result of this. I remember I tried it in the Bionic Wharf in Amsterdam and when I swatched it, it looks like mauve. So I, I was not, maybe I will not like it. I knew that I did love something else when I was swatching there. And this was something that I thought I would not like, but you really need to um, try it on your dips to see how it will look on you because I thought it would be mauve, but on me, it's really like a pretty, almost like peachy pink brown kind of shade like a light pink brown gradient, which I wanted and expected it to be. So I'm glad it looked like this on my lips. I really, really love this uh, shade. I think this this is my favorite color. And I was always using this mostly of my pictures, videos, because I love how it looks on me. So yeah, this is perfect for every, everyday wear. Can even be like a, your lips, but better uh, kind of shade, just like a really subtle work appropriate everyday um uh, color so yeah this is a uh, pillow top so the next one is toned rose so this is the shade that i did love in person when i while i was swatching in the dubai and Corf. but when i got it it didn't i didn't expect it to be, look too orange i remember it was like almost like pinkish brown like the pillow top that's why i was uh, drawn to this and i noticed a lot of people like it though so i was thinking maybe um this would be my first purchase but um in person it's too orange for me it's not even like any shade of pink it's more like a dark orange brown so this is something that i regret buying and also yeah it's just not the shade that i wanted so uh, what i remembered whilst watching it was not like this orange so yeah this is really like hydrating also like if you like a bit of your lips a bit shiny and not only matte you might like this but yeah some this shade is not for me i'm not sure if i want to keep this or give this probably i will give this to to my aunt or i don't know i will see but yeah this is a stone rose so this is like not their matte version i'm not sure i'll try to look which um formula is this but this is not the matte so the next shade is the walk of shame so this is also uh, one of the popular shades that i saw and all of all the like um, swatches this one of the colors that really drew me it's more like a old rose kind of shade it's really a pretty you can if i think i will just blot it a bit and not to apply so much um it will look like an mlbb i think this is the mlbb shade and this i think i would wear more i think autumn winter time it can be in summer time but i think when it's too too pigmented like this i don't tend to use them on the summer on summer time so it's more like when it's colder months but this is really a pretty shade and yeah i think they even have a whole collection just for walk of shame so yeah that's walk of shame and the last but definitely not the least is the mi kiss i think this could be the um, this was the bun girl so when i was um discovering charlotte tilbury this is one of the shades that really uh, caught my attention i was really excited to get it until and then i postponed and postponed because i was trying something else and now that i cannot order to um asia anymore i will try more like the products or brands that i've been wanting to try way back but didn't dare because it was too expensive but yeah every now and then i'll try to get them when they're on, on sale so it's not too too much so yeah this is more like a muted berry tone it's like um i think this is their like winter kind of shade it's more like um yeah you see like the berry tone but it's a bit uh lighter or like muted so um yeah, I think they probably named it or like they, they were inspired with Bun Girls because I think this would look like really sexy, sultry on your lips. It's really like uh, sophisticated also. Like, yeah, on me, um, I think the, my makeup today does just does not fit it. That's why it's not really something that I think like really wowed me or I feel like it would look good on me. But I think with a good or like a... The, a better makeup that will suit this i will appreciate it more i feel like it just makes my face looks a bit um we call that somber like i don't know how you it's english like like outside it feels like it's gloomy i feel like it will make me look mature and yeah very um uh, i think more for a professional setup something like that so yeah that's the 
bun girl or like am i kiss so yeah that was my swatches i hope it was helpful for you and yeah i i do love i think this is one of the best formulas i've tried so far you really feel the luxe the quality and it feels really nice on the lips it's light but really like pigmented it will cover your lips right away in one swipe even the um the lighter shade even the very very victoria which i'm really amazed about it's really good quality i love how it feels on my lips it's not drying and yeah it's just uh, one of the best formula i've tried so far and i love it so much that's why i added more and probably if they will um uh release more that i think i would love i will try it more and review it for you of course so yeah and yeah i just love their um her lipsticks i and also her eyeshadow i should also review that and i think i will get the um, blusher as well so um because i loved the quality of all the things i've tried so far from her so we shall see please watch out for it ever i'm going to review more from her so now it's a bit raining <laughs> so you will see a bit of uh, rain background effect but yeah i want to share to you the definition of the matte revolution lipsticks from, from her so they said it's the universally loved best-selling lipstick launched to give all women what charlotte tilbury calls the most beautiful lips of your life the moisturizing matte formula smooths and shapes the lips of your dreams to allure tempt and perfect every pout it's formulated for every woman at every age and any skin tone enriched with nourishing orchid and lipstick T lipstick tree extracts plus light reflecting pigments lips appear smoother softer and more youthful finished with an angled square tip apply straight from the bullet for the best lips of life so i think she made that also that kind of shape to yeah i think i feel like this shape also really coats good the the lips because it's a bit like angled which is really good and they said it's 3D glowing pigments create the illusion of lit from within lips that appear wider and fuller. Um, I'm not sure if you have uh, thinner lips than mine, uh, if how it will look, but on me, um, yeah, it's already thick, so I don't really need that kind of effect, but maybe it could be because the model here, I feel like, especially if you line it, like overline it, probably it would also look a bit thicker so they said triglycerides mixed with a perfect blend of oils and waxes glides long lasting color onto the lips revolutionary square angle tips mimics the shape of a lip brush for perfect for precision application so that's how about the matte so let's see about the stone rose so this line is the kissing um lipstick so they said it's a moisturizing lipsticks created with icons past and present in mind so i think there are probably uh normally her lipsticks are named or inspired by the models or celebrities so like very victoria i think it's victoria beckham there was like about uh, i'm not sure which name was that something with kate i think lipstick three extracts help to protect your lips from uv damage leaving them from, from leaving them cashmere soft and hydrated light diffusing pigments give you a full bodied luminous pout as they capture and ref reflect like bug out yeah especially the stone rose really like light reflecting the special blend of waxes means the formula smooths over your lips for a seamless finish and no bleeding outside your lip line yeah i i have never actually have a bleeding ever with any lipstick so i think bleeding is like it will like smudge if i'm not mistaken ideal for everyday makeup to leave a lasting impression so that's about the stone rose so i think with her line i prefer the matte one normally in any lipstick i always go for matte so i think um from now on i'll just go with the matte i don't like lip gloss i don't like liquid lipstick only matte so you will see more like matte um formulas of me i will try some formulas but most probably i will give it away to my 
uh, family or cousins or friends so it's also okay for me it's like just a gift I try for review and then give it away so yeah that's my review over these lipsticks I hope I really hope when I edit it you will see more now the light is a bit better I think compared to when I when I taped the uh, while I was watching I hope uh, I will not need to repeat it but I think if it's too dark I will try to take a picture um, trying them on and I will uh, let you see within the video how they look with a better lighting so I hope and also like probably swatches arm swatches and things like that so yeah I hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions please do let me know and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me and if you have any suggestions any requests please do let me know and I will try to make it possible for you if it's an Asian lipstick brand it would be hard for me because I cannot order in YesStyle anymore since we will always get charged when we order outside EU so I don't order in um, in Asia anymore because of that so sorry for that so I will be more like drugstore here high um, like luxury brands and things like that that uh, I'm able to just order here without any problems and restrictions so I hope you understand that so I really love the formula of this really like light on the lips really pigmented and I'm I highly recommend them if you uh, still uh, doubting to get to try Charlotte Tilbury for me the price is really worth it because of how they feel they're long-lasting they don't fade on me when I eat I think of course like now I did uh, I need to reapply it because as you see they are not transfer proof it will it will there will be a time when you eat or probably drink a lot you need to retouch so if I think you only drink water a bit of cookie it should be okay when you need to like eat like really heavy meal like you know the main dish with oils and rice and things like that you need to retouch it anyway and in any lipstick it's always like that even like the MAC and yeah really like a long lasting lipstick you really just need to retouch it. but for me I don't mind uh, only I think me I, I did use this yesterday under the mask it smudged a bit but it's not like all over my lips which is good because uh, I, I remember before some lipsticks like all over my lips but this did really well it was not smudging everywhere so I'm really happy with that and uh, what else yeah the feel it's just like on another level the formula the pigmentation is really amazing so I highly recommend it and for sure I think I do like some of her new sh new release maybe if there's a, a discount again I might try her um, uh, sheets but more on the match side so yeah thank you for watching and I hope I see you in my next one bye